Welcome back to the Sunday Kitchen, episode 3. In the last two weeks, I've been doing different things. I've been making a pizza, I've been making an ice cream. But this week, something much, much simpler. It will be spaghetti with cheese. So, what kind of stuff would you need? Obviously, you'll need the cheese. You can also buy the already cut cheese. But I'm gonna make things more complicated this time. So, I'm gonna use a grater. To make the cheese smaller, so you'll need you'll need a grater, spaghetti, cheese, pan, and obviously water. This time, if you have a kettle, you can just preheat the water and, and then put it in the pan and boil it in there. If you don't have, you just put the cold water and boil it. So let's begin. So if you have a kettle, just fill the kettle. Okay, the water is almost ready. Turn on the heat and add some water into the pan. This should be enough, just over half. By the way, if you are using a kettle, you may have to wait a little extra while until it boils in the actual pan. It could take maybe a couple of minutes. Okay, the water is boiling, so it's time to add some spaghetti into the pan. This time I'm gonna put some probably half of the package. You don't need to put the whole thing because probably won't be able to eat it. So unless you can eat it then no problem. So according to the instructions it says about nine minutes. Cook them for about eight minutes and then taste them. And if and you will then find out whether it's ready or not. So you may need to cook them a little bit longer or shorter than it actually says in the package. But anyway, let's open the package. Taking them out, sticking in, and then just slowly pushing them inside. But make sure you don't put your fingers in there or or your hand in, in the middle of a pan. Otherwise, you can boil your hand. Push it slowly. So that's pretty much it. We just need to add a little bit of salt and wait for about 8 minutes and then taste it. Let's add some salt, not too much. That's it. Okay, also make sure you cut a little bit down the heat to about a half, 50%. And then just watch, if it goes over, then just reduce it or increase it accordingly. And occasionally, obviously, we'll skip as well. Okay, well, while spaghetti are cooking, now we need to get some cheese ready to be cut. On the package. So for this you'll need a grater. Just use any of these things which you think according to you the size you need. So I don't know. Should be something like this. And then just push slightly downwards. Obviously watch your fingers as well. Well, I think that should be enough. Or maybe a little bit more. So if it's a, if it's about a 200 grams of cheese, use about 100, because for for that amount of the spaghetti, that should be that should be more than enough. So here we got the actual cheese. And also make sure you will see the, oh, just occasionally during these eight minutes, otherwise some of these spaghetti could actually attach to to the floor of the pan. So. We don't want that to happen. They're almost ready. The nine minutes have all have almost passed. So I'm gonna try them in about a minute to see whether they are ready or not. Okay, let's try whether they're ready or not. Almost ready. Just about two more minutes. That's it. The couple extra minutes passed. Now we just need a sieve. 
So carefully grab a pawn and water, water came through the sea. Put it back in the pond and now grab all the cheese and just put it on the top of it. It's actually maybe even too much of the cheese. Make sure it doesn't cover the whole thing, otherwise it's going to be more than a cheese than a spaghetti and find something to mix it up so that's pretty much it the proper spaghetti and cheese we call them the cheesy spaghetti and make sure you eat them as soon as they're ready then you'll get the best taste otherwise it's not gonna taste as good and it's gonna be very cold that's it it's ready in just about 15 minutes you can have simple spaghetti with the cheese thanks for watching don't forget the Sunday kitchen is coming out every Sunday and I'm just making the different meal every Sunday at random. If you'd like me to make something interesting, just let me know in the comments below or send me the message on the YouTube. Meanwhile, that's it for today. And don't forget to subscribe and I'll be back with something else. As usual, next Sunday.